hi guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can verify your google adsense account without the adsense pin i'm going to be showing you guys how you can verify your adsense account without the personal identification number which is your adsense pin so guys it's more than very possible for you to do that and i will be taking you guys through the process through the step-by-step -step process on how you can actually do that so guys this particular google adsense video tutorial is for the following persons firstly for those whose verification deadline is approaching or whose verification deadline has already expired secondly for those who have requested the fourth replacement adsense pin mail and still haven't received it even after three weeks of requesting the fourth replacement pin thirdly for those who have exceeded the limited number of times they can actually apply for their address verification or their google adsense verification then fourthly for those whose adsense pin haven't arrived even after going to the post office severally to check if their pin has arrived over the last four months from the time they actually applied for their address verification on google adsense then lastly this video is for those who have received a notification like this one on the screen on their adsense account homepage. So guys, if you fall into any of the categories that I've just mentioned, then this video is for you. You don't need to fret, you don't need to be afraid, you don't need to worry yourself too much, you don't need to get yourself bothered. This video will help you with all those problems, with all those issues. All of these issues, problems and worries can be solved and fixed if you can only learn how to verify your AdSense account without the AdSense pin. And this video is going to be showing you guys just that. You're going to learn how you can actually verify your payment address, how you can actually verify your AdSense account without the AdSense pin. Okay guys, so guys just make sure you follow me to the end of this video to get it all and also if you're new to our YouTube channel, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment as that will tremendously help grow this channel. So guys without any further ado, let's get started. So guys now the first step you have to take now is to log into your artist account and for you to do that you have to open your browser. So guys I'm going to be using the Chrome browser in this video tutorial today. So whichever browser that you have just tap on it to open it. So let me tap on my Chrome browser. So guys, once your browser opens up, now what you have to search for is adsense.google.com. So guys, I want to log into my AdSense account. So let me tap on the search bar at the top. So let me type in adsense.google.com. So let me type it right away now. adsense.google.com. So guys, you can see there at the top. So let me tap on enter. So guys, now to sign into your Google AdSense account, what you have to do now is to tap on the menu icon there on the left-hand side. So let me tap on it. Then you tap on where you can see sign in below. You can see it right there. So let me tap on sign in. So guys now you can see signing me in so guys now the next step you have to take now is to tap on the three horizontal bar at the top left corner you can see there the arrow is pointing at it let me zoom in so you see it clearly so guys now you can see the three horizontal bar at the left so let me tap on it right away so guys now the next step you have to take now is to tap on where you can see payments you can see there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys now the next step you have to take now is to tap on verification check you can see it down there so let me tap on it so guys now you can see on this account on this google adsense account you can see that i've verified my identity you can see you can see the identity verification completed but for my address verification you can see it's written in red needs attention you can see that i've not verified my address so guys i'm going to be showing you guys how you can verify your address even without receiving the google adsense pin so guys let me scroll down so i can display further so guys can see i've actually requested for my google adsense pin four times i've actually done that i've actually requested for replacement pin for four times but i've not been able to receive it i've gone to the post office several times but i wasn't able to get it so guys if this is the problem you are actually facing just make sure you follow me to the end of this video to get it all so guys before we continue there are a few things i would like us to get and that's our google adsense publisher id and also we need to take note of our name so guys we need to get that so guys now for you to get your publisher id what you have to do right away now is to tap on the three horizontal bar you can see the menu icon there so let me tap on it right away so guys now the next step you have to take now is to tap on where you can see account you can see there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on account so guys now the next step you have to take now is to tap on settings you can see right there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it yeah so guys under settings now what you have to do now is to tap on account information you can see there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys this is where you're going to find your publisher id you can see it right there let me zoom in so you see it clearly so guys now you can see it right there you can see your publisher id so guys now to copy it what you have to do now is to highlight it so guys let me highlight it right away 
so that now you can see it has been highlighted so you have to copy all of them including the alphabet so that you have to copy everything including the alphabet which is there which is pup hyphen you have to copy the alphabet and the digits you have to copy everything so that let me copy it right away so guys now the next thing you need to get now is your name you need to take note of the way your name is written in your google artist account so guys now for you to check out your name what you have to do now is to go over to the three horizontal bar again let me go let me tap on it let me zoom in so you see it clearly so guys now you can see the three horizontal bar there so let me tap on it right away so guys now the next step you need to take now is to tap on payments you can see payments there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so the next step you need to take now is to tap on payment info you can see that the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys what you have to do now is to scroll upwards So guys, now you can see the name on this Google Adsense account. You can see the name right there. And you can also see the publisher ID right there as well. So guys, this is how you can actually get the exact name on your Google Adsense account. And also how you can actually get the publisher ID of your Google Adsense account. So guys, we are going to be needing all this in the next steps we are going to be taking. So guys, now the next thing you need to take note of is your email address. I know you can't forget your email address. Just make sure you note your Gmail address, your Google account, the one you use in creating your Adsense account. So guys, now if you've gotten all this, then you can go over to the next step. So guys, after you've gotten all this, the next step you have to take now towards verifying your Google AdSense account without the pin is to tap on where you can see the three horizontal bar again. You can see there the menu icon. So let me tap on it right away. So guys, now the next step you have to take now is to tap on payments. So let me tap on payments. Then you tap on verification check. You can see there the arrow is pointing at it. So let me tap on it. So guys, now the next step you have to take now is to tap on where you can see learn more. You can see that the arrow is pointing at it. You can see that that's a notification. Let me get to read it out loud. You have less than one month to verify your address. Otherwise, you will stop displaying ads. So guys, what you have to do now is to tap on learn more. But in case you don't have this notification on your Google Assets account, all you have to do now is to scroll down. So guys, under this verify your identity, now you can see where it is written learn more. You can see that the arrow is pointing at it. So you can decide to tap on the lemo down here or you can decide to tap on the one above whichever one will work out fine so guys let me tap on this one right here because this is the one that everyone can actually see on their google access account so you guys can see there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it right away so guys, this way you're going to find all the process you can take to actually verify your address. But this is not for us because we've actually done all that and we couldn't verify our address. So guys, now what you have to do now is to tap on where you can see pin troubleshooter. You can see down there, the arrow is pointing at it. That's what you need to tap on. You can see there written in blue. You can see there the arrow is pointing at it. That's what you need to tap on. So guys, let me tap on it right away. So guys, now you can see I've clicked on it and it's loading. So guys, now you can see what is written here, AdSense pin troubleshooter. So guys, what you have to do now is to scroll upwards. So let me go down now. So guys, now you can see what is written here, confirm your email. So guys, this is where you have to confirm your email. You can see, is this email the email address you use for AdSense? So guys, what you have to do now is to confirm that. If that's the email, what you have to do is to tap on yes. If it's not the email, you tap on no. Then you have to switch your account to the email that you actually use in creating your Google AdSense account. So guys, now this is the email that I actually use in my AdSense. So let me tap on yes. You can see where the arrow is pointing at. Let me tap on it right away. So guys, what you have to do next now is to tap on continue. You can see it down there. So let me tap on it. So guys, now you can see the next step now. You can see what is here. Pin arrival check. Have you received your fiscal pin mailer? So guys, you can see the first option. Yes, I have received my pin and I would like to verify my payment address. You can see the second option. No, I have not received my pin. So guys, what you have to go for is the second option, which is no, I have not received my pin. So guys, you can see that the arrow is pointing at it. So let me tap on it right away. So guys, after that, what you have to do now is to tap on continue. You can see it down there. So let me tap on it right away. So guys, now you can see I've answered all the questions. You can see where the arrow is pointing at. You can see it there, 100%. That shows that I've actually met the requirement to actually use this AdSense pin troubleshooter to verify my AdSense account. So guys, you can see what is written there. Contact support team. Upon checking your account, it looks like you have already requested 4 pins. In this situation, 
our specialist team would be able to help you further with the pin verification please contact them directly through this contact form so guys now you can see where it is written contact form here it is written in blue you can see the contact form is written in blue you can see it right there the arrow is pointing out what you have to do now is to tap on it so guys now before i tap on contact form let me get to explain what i just read now what is written here for you to actually qualify to use this adsense pin troubleshooter that means you must have requested for four google adsense pin you must have requested for replacement pin four times but you couldn't get it that's the only requirement that will actually enable you to actually use this adsense pin troubleshooter and that's why you've gotten to this point if you've not requested for replacement pin four times you can't get to this point so guys now what you have to do now is to tap on contact form so guys you can see where the arrow is pointing out let me tap on it right away so guys, this way are going to be able to verify your address. This way are going to be able to verify your Google AdSense account. So guys, now you can see what is written here. Personal identification number. Yeah. So guys, now let me scroll upwards. So guys, now you can see the boxes that are actually required. The first one is your name. So guys, now this way you need to impute your name, the name on your Google AdSense account. Put it exactly the way it is there. Remember, I told you guys you have to take note of your name. This way it's required now. You have to impute your name the way it is on your Google AdSense account. So guys, now you can see the next one now, which is your email address. Remember, I told you you have to copy your email address. You have to keep that at heart. So guys, now that's where you need to impute your email address, the email address that you use in actually creating your AdSense account. So guys, now over to the last step now you can see the last box there which is your adsense publisher id so guys like i said again i told you guys to copy your publisher id and i did so guys what you have to do now is to paste the publisher id right here so guys now let me go ahead now to impute the name on my google adsense account and let me paste my adsense publisher id so guys let me do that right away you can see there my email address is already there so guys it's there automatically so let me impute my name let me type it real quick so guys, now I can see I've imputed the name, I've also imputed my email address and my publisher ID. So guys, the next step now to take now is to submit an attachment, which is your document. There are actually documents for you to actually submit so that you can actually verify your AdSense account without the AdSense pin. So guys, now let me scroll down now to show you guys the documents that are actually required. So guys, now I can see what is there. Let me get to read it out loud. When filling out the form below, please make sure to attach a clear and visible proof of identity in order to confirm the validity of the postal address set in your AdSense account. We accept these documents below. So guys, you can see down there the documents that can be accepted. The first one is government-issued ID card. Government-issued ID card include your driver's license, your passport, which can be your international passport, and your national identity card. So guys, if you have any of those government-issued ID cards, they are good to go. So let me get to read what is written under it. The image must display the payee name and the mailing address as they appear in your Google AdSense account. So guys, the government-issued ID card that you want to use should contain your name and also your address. So guys, they need your mailing address. Your address is needed. Remember, the reason why we're actually going through this process is because we are not able to verify our address in Google AdSense. So guys, your government-issued ID card should have your address. And one of those government-issued ID card that normally has the address is your driver's license. Your driver's license. So guys, if you have your driver's license right there, you should find your name and also your address. That's the government-issued ID card that you can find both your name and your address. So so guys, for other government issued ID card like your passport and also your national identity card, I don't think you're going to find your address. I think what you're going to find there is your name and maybe your national identity number. So guys, you don't need to bother about that if you can't find your address on those ID cards. You can actually use them. So you don't need to bother about that. You can use your national identity card or your passport. Just that you need to add additional documents to it such as your bank statement, telephone bill or your rent receipt. And that's where the second option comes in. So guys, you can see the second option where it is written bank statement telephone bill or rent receipt with those documents there you can actually provide your address so if your government issued id card does not have address on it what you have to do now is to submit one of these documents down there you can either submit your bank statement or your telephone bill or your rent receipt in those documents right there your address should be on it if you get your bank statement you will normally find your address at the top right or at the top left of the bank statement so guys let me get to read what is written under the second option which is bank statements telephone bill or rent receipt Received. If the postal address in your account is different from the address displayed on your ID card or your ID card does not provide information about your mailing address, you can also confirm your address by providing an image of your bank statement, telephone bill or rent receipt displaying your payee name and your postal address as it appears in your AdSense account. So guys, like I said, if your government issued ID card does not have a mailing address, if it doesn't have an address, you can actually provide your address by submitting either your bank statement or your telephone bill or your rent receipt. 
for everyone i think everyone can actually get their bank statement since everyone should have a bank account so you guys can easily get your bank statement online you can get it from your mobile banking app so if you use any of these banks zinet bank so whichever bank you're using you can actually get their mobile app what you have to do is to download and install the app into your phone then you register the app then you can be able to use it to download your bank statement you can request your bank statement in your mobile app without going to the bank physically once you request for your bank statement on the mobile app, it will be sent to your email address. Then you'll be able to download it in PDF format. Then you can come over here to upload a PDF. So guys, that's how it works. You must make sure the name on your government-issued ID card that lives with the name on your Google AdSense account. And also, if your government-issued ID card does not have an address on it, you must make sure that the bank statement or telephone bill or rent receipt they are actually submitting on this platform has the exact name and address on your Google AdSense account. So your bank statement should have your name the way it is on your Google AdSense account. And your bank statement should also have the same address that is in your Google AdSense account. And one of the ways to make sure that the address on your bank statement is the same as the one on your google access account is to go and edit the address on your google access account to match with the one on your bank statement or you can do it vice versa what i mean by that is that you can go over to your bank to change your address to match with the one on your google access account so guys either way just make sure that your address is matching just make sure the exact address on your google access account is what is in your bank statement so that you can be able to verify your address without using your adsense pin so guys this is the essence of my explanation that's why i'm actually taking my time i want you to understand this so that you can be able to successfully do this so that you can be able to verify your google access account without the adsense pin so guys, now the next step you have to take now in order to upload all these files is to tap on where you can see choose files. You can see there the arrow is pointing at it. So let me tap on it. Once I tap on it now, it's going to take me to my gallery where I can actually choose my government issued ID card, which is my driver's license. So guys, I'm going to be using my driver's license. My driver's license has my name and my address. But in case you're using other government ID card that doesn't have the address, what you have to do is to back it up with either your bank statement, your telephone bill or your rent receipt, like I said. So guys, now let me tap on the choose file. Let me tap on it right away. Then let me tap on my camera section to get my image. So guys, let me look for my driver's license right away. So guys, let me look for the driver's license real quick. Let me look for it real quick. So guys, I've seen it. So let me tap on it right away. So guys, now you can see the image of my driver's license. You can see it there is uploading. You can see it is loading. Once it's done uploading now, what I'm going to do now is to tap on where you can see submit. You can see it there. You can see where it's waiting submit down there. The arrow is pointing at it. So let me wait till the image is done uploading. You can see it's loading. So guys, you can also upload more than one file. Like I said, in case you're using a government issued ID card that doesn't have an address, you can tap on where it is written choose file to actually upload your PDF file or maybe your image, the image of your or maybe your telephone bill or your rent receipt or your bank receipt. You can upload it any kind of file pdf or image or jpeg whichever file that you have you can upload it by tapping on this plus choose file so you can upload two files you can upload three files just make sure you're uploading the files that they need so you don't have any issues so as i can see the image of my driver's license is done uploading so what i have to do now is to tap on submit once i tap on submit then to be submitted to google adsense then they'll have to work on it so let me tap on this right away now this is the final step so let me tap on it so guys, now you can see I have successfully submitted all that they need. This form has been submitted to AdSense support. We will try to get back to you within 24 hours if your query is about your account and requires an action from your side. However, depending on the volume of messages that we receive, it may take up to 48 hours or longer for us to reply. Thank you for your patience. So guys, now you can see this is the confirmation email you're going to get to be sure that you've actually successfully submitted this your form, this your contact form on Google AdSense. So guys, for me, it took me less than 24 hours, then my address was verified on Google AdSense. My account got verified. So guys, let me show you guys. So you guys can see here's the google adsense account you can see i'm on the verification check page so you guys now you can see my address verification has been completed you can see i've been verified my address has been verified you can see down there the arrow is pointing at it you can see i've actually fulfilled the identity verification as well as the address verification which is the main thing so you guys now you can see you can actually verify your address you can actually verify your google adsense account without the adsense pin so that's what you have to do right away now after successfully verifying your address without the adsense pin is to actually add your payment method and for you to do that you have to tap on the three horizontal bar again then you go over to payments then you go over to payment info you tap on it so guys now i've come to the end of this video and i believe you got value from this if you did make sure you like subscribe and leave a comment and also if you're new to our youtube channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so that whenever we upload new videos like this one on google adsense tutorial you're gonna get notified see you in the next upload
Bye-bye. Peace.